Hello again, and welcome to the Ithaca Times and Finger Lakes Community Newspapers YouTube channel. I'm Carrie Blakinger, and I'll be your host for today, bringing you this week's news roundup. It's budget season, so if you don't like numbers, then municipal news all just kind of sucks this time of year. Except for Newfield. Their news is actually kind of really juicy right now. But first, the quick budget summary. In Tompkins County, they just adopted the 2015 budget, and the next major step is the public hearing on November 10th. And then after that, they'll officially uh, approve the budget, and then it'll be the budget, for real. In the town of Ithaca, Supervisor Herb Engman is taking a stand by cutting back $100,000 in voluntary contributions in the 2015 budget. Um, both Lansing and Ulysses town boards have said they're planning, they're not planning to stay under the state tax cap, while Newfield and Cander are staying under the tax cap. Uh, I don't actually know what Spencer is doing in regards to the tax cap, but their public hearing is on November 6th. Uh, and on to exciting legal issues. In Seneca County, the former South Seneca Community Volunteer Ambulance Squad bookkeeper, Angel Lawrence, pleaded guilty in Seneca County Court to embezzling $163,000 from the rescue squad's funds. Lawrence is due to be sentenced in November. According to the current ambulance squad president, Jason Henderson, the missing funds were from the sale of an ambulance that they had earmarked the money to buy a new one. Uh, so now they're just going to have to wait longer to buy it, he said. And the exciting news in Newfield is that Bob Menti of Alternative Waste Services is suing the town of Newfield. Yay! I mean, well, you know, not, not yay for the lawsuit, but uh, yay for us reporters for having something juicy to cover. This situation has been brewing for like two years now. Basically, Bob Menti owns a trash hauling company and he's been trying to build a waste transfer station since 2012. There's been some pretty vocal opposition and in the wake of that, the town passed a moratorium on building waste transfer stations in 2013. Then in 2014, they extended the moratorium so that they could continue investigating the matter. Now, Menti has sued saying that the town's moratoria are unreasonably long and that the second moratorium targets only his property, making the law analogous to spot zoning. The town's attorney said not to expect a decision until early 2015, so stay tuned for that. And finally, in sports, it's sectionals time. Yay, I guess. Thursday, no, sorry, Friday, Spencer Van Atten Boys Soccer won a nail-biter at home against Bainbridge. The Panthers were down one with five minutes to play, but scored two goals in the final four minutes to clinch the victory. They will play top-ranked Lansing next week to see who advances to the sectional final. So, that's all the news for this week. If you have an idea for something you'd like to see us cover, email editor at ithacatimes.com and visit us online at ithaca.com. And please, do exciting and strange things so that we have good stuff to report on. Bye!